No team in State of Origin's 34 years has had a more chaotic build-up to a match than the one New South Wales went through for Game 2. Queensland had their own last-minute hiccup, though, with Jonathan Thurston visiting hospital on match eve with a viral infection. But the Maroons maestro is back on deck in a bid to help his state square the series. And their cause received a massive boost before their opponents had even touched the ball. Go to Fernday. They're going to make it. Fernday's in to score. First try of the night. Samuel Fernday. The Broncos captain has scored. Thurston made it 8 0 after eight minutes when James Maloney failed to square up at marker. And it was only Paul Gallon's strength that prevented New South Wales from falling further behind when he held Corey Parker up. But with Queensland pouring it on early and JT looking anything but ill, further points followed swiftly. Thurston double pump, here they go again. Darius Boyd scores another try. That's a try in the last five Origin games for Darius Boyd and his 11th Origin try. And with just over half an hour gone, the Newcastle utility back had his eyes on try 12. Oh, the kick is through to Boyd. Boyd throws it back in field, but the touch judge has got the flag up. Well, if he could have got it to him on the full, and I'm sure that was the intention, that was another try to Queensland. As the seconds ticked towards half time, there was more danger for the Blues to deal with. This is brilliant. Hodges can't hold it. It may have come up in New South Wales' head. So with Hodges losing the ball forward, New South Wales were off the hook once more and very relieved to reach the rooms with the damage restricted to just 14-0. But unlike Game 1 in Sydney, the side that was leading by that score at the break made it their mission to go on with it. And Marauders, and they went up fast and Boyd. Boyd has hurt them. He's hurt them again. Thurston's cutout ball was a joy to behold, and his winger did the rest by making sure of the grounding to give the locals a handy surplus of three converted tries. And just when it seemed like Queensland's dominance had taken the steam out of the contest, things quickly turned nasty, with Billy Slater reported for elbowing Mitchell Pearce before the simmering tension between the two teams erupted a few plays later. Now some punches! Trent Merrill now it's exploded! Origin tournaments really erupted now. The message was made clear in the aftermath of Game 1 that fighting would not be tolerated, opening the sin bin for business with Messrs Hodges, Tate, Merrin and Bird being the patrons. It was then 11 aside for the next 10 minutes, but the Maroons opted to not just go wide, but high as well. G.I. goes up, he score the lead. Does he get it down? Does he does? I think he did. As per their preparation, nothing had gone right for New South Wales, but they were keen to avoid complete embarrassment. And Brett Morris has scored for the Blues. The Blues were finally on the board, but this was well and truly Queensland's night, keeping their title alive and sending us to a series deciding showdown at ANZ Stadium on July 17. David Rollins, NRL.com.